EA Sports. It's in the game. I've seen in recent times 
wasn't for the greatest trophy, it's for the German Super Cup actually. And Dortmund beat Bayern 4 2, but you know, could have been easily 4 2 the other way. It was spellbinding. I hope we get to uh, yeah, anything, a tenth as good today would be satisfied. Yeah, remember that well, Martin Jurgen Klopp leading them with so much charisma, Dortmund. And I think this one has got the hallmarks of another classic match. I mean, it don't get the domestic opposition that, say, uh, Premier League teams do in trying to win titles. I just wonder whether they would benefit if somehow there were more competition for them in Germany. Well, it's a fair point because it is difficult to, you know, raise your game by a couple of notches, which they might have to do from the weekend to the midweek. But having said that, done pretty well in uh, the last few years in Europe. If you dropped in a football ground with your eyes bandaged and told you know where you are, you'd know this one, wouldn't you? You know you were here. The Dortmund atmosphere is unique. It's magnificent, Martin, and of course you can still stand in Germany, but for uh, European games it's all sit up, but even then it's some sight to be hot. Listening to the national anthem while you're standing there, and uh, it's one of those days that you don't tend to forget. Very proud for these players. World Cup action for you live. Special action too. It's Argentina versus Portugal. Number seven. And now it's time for the national anthems. Portugal with uh, a wonderful football history, of course. They did win the Euros in 2016, we talked about that. I remember 1966 when they pushed England all the way in England for the World Cup and actually finished third in a fantastic campaign led by Eusebio. Yeah, he was a huge name, wasn't he, in Portugal football. If Ronaldo's a hero now, he was just as big a star back then. Argentina with this lineup. Marcus Rojo starts alongside Nicolas Otamendi at the back. Eva Venega plays with Enzo Perez in midfield. Lionel Messi is the main striker today. Enjoy the visit to Portugal team for today. Rui Patricio starts in goal. Pepe starts with Jose Font in central defence. They've got plenty of goal threat with two strikers in the attack. Well, it tells you if you can score that many goals in one half, maybe the opposition can score the same in the second. And here's the shot, and that has reduced the lead. But there's still a long, long way to go. A good look here again by the replay of the goal. A reminder 3 1 it is now the scoreline. Ronaldo. Pepe. On to Ronaldo. Here's Adrian Silva. Ready. In quickly. Angel Di Maria. The break is definitely on. It could be in from Di Maria's true pass. Goal! Patrick. Goal number three here, and it's a perfect day for the player. They will be signing the match ball for him afterwards because of a hat-trick. Yeah, he won't forget this day in a hurry. Top stuff from him.
3 1 the scoreline as we restart the game. Philip Lahm. So 3 1 is the final score here. Lionel Messi did in the game today, Alan. Well, he goes across and grabs the match ball from the ref. A hat trick, and that's to be treasured by any player. There's nothing like that feeling of victory. It's less so, of course, in a friendly game, but uh, it's still better than walking off beaten. Well, winning is a nice habit to acquire, and this team have uh, taken a step towards doing that. Very confident with the ball at his feet. Could pull one back here. 